What's up everybody, Dr. Chris here, and I wanna to talk to you about the Danish mask study. You may have heard of it. I've been waiting for the results for weeks. A lot of people um, in the, let's say, natural health, wellness community, we've been waiting for it for a while. Um, so let me give you the breakdown if you haven't already heard. And it was pretty crazy because the interpretations of it and the spin came from the media like fast. Like it got released yesterday, I think at 6 a.m. our time, and there were articles like at 6.10. Uh, it was super quick, they were quick to jump on it um, because it goes against what we are currently being told by our public health agencies in California, in the US, all over. Um, so here's what the study did. They took roughly 6,000 people. They did 3,000 of them were gonna wear no masks. 3,000 of them were gonna wear masks, and I'm generalizing, the numbers are a little more specific, um, but those, it's like 3,000 and 3,000. And the people that were wearing masks, or both groups, I should say, they got similar instructions, they had to leave the house. So they were out and about in the world for a minimum of three hours a day. Grocery store, bank, whatever they were doing, um, living life. So it's not like one group was like told to stay inside, like they were both out and interacting. So the results came back, and they found that there was a 0.3% difference in the infection rate between the mass group and the non-mass group. So what that means was, is, is that there really wasn't a difference between whether you went out and wore a mask or you went out and didn't wear a mask. So obviously it is only one aspect of the whole process of dealing with this coronavirus, whether it is, you know, that doesn't include social distancing, didn't include other factors in the mix, but just looking at the mask. So this is consistent with multiple other studies that have been done in the past, because guess what? Just because Corona just came around, you know, in 2020, doesn't mean that we hadn't already studied masks for other things. So influenza has been around forever, right? And there's been numerous studies that show masks just don't provide a whole lot of protection. Now, a lot of people are even saying this is a flawed study because those participants that were in the mask group, they were given surgical masks. Now, those are more effective let's say then a typical cloth mask. And I don't know how it is wherever you're watching this from, in Pasadena, in our neighborhood, even just up and down California where we've traveled in the last couple months, I would say the majority of people are wearing cloth masks, not surgical masks. Yes, you see the blue surgical ones here and there, but the majority I would say are doing like a cloth mask. So in this study, they were even using like an upgraded version and it was still 0.3%. So that basically means if you're going out in the world, 99.7% you're gonna be in the same um, susceptibility range as someone with a mask or someone without a mask. So it's really up to you. I just wanna bring you the information as to what you're gonna do with it. Right now we're being told, you know, mask up even harder. And if we're going off of current science, current data, well, this is the most recent thing. This is the biggest sample group that they've done for COVID-19. This is the biggest uh, you know, uh, group that they've put together in each category so we can actually say like, hey, here's what's going on. Here's what you should be doing instead. So what I would like, I would like for there to be a news report or a public announcement where whoever, insert your favorite government official here. They stand up and they say, guys, we got this information from the Danish mask study, and here's what they show. Masks, mm, they're not really protecting us, but here's what you can do. You can start limiting your sugar intake. Start limiting your alcohol intake. Get more sleep. Go outside to get some exercise. It's still sunny outside, go get some vitamin D. If you don't, if you don't live in a sunny area, start supplementing with vitamin D. Take your probiotics, get some good gut health because your immune system stems from that gut. Maybe see a chiropractor, get your nervous system taken care of so we can positively influ influence, I can speak, influence your immune system. Maybe let's start doing all of that stuff, guys, and we can wipe out this coronavirus entirely because we'll all be going through it, we'll pass it, but it won't affect us. We'll do all of that stuff because the things we're doing up until this point just haven't quite worked as effectively. That's what I would like the news to come out and say, but is it gonna happen? Highly doubt it. So, 
Again, take it, take what you will from that study. Our government probably isn't going to respect it. They're probably not going to throw a lot into the mix as far as the validity of it. But nevertheless, now you know the numbers. 0.3% difference, mask versus non-mask. It's just how the numbers played out. If you have any questions, please put them down below. DM me, whatever it is. Uh, I will give you my information, my two cents on it. And if you just want to tag someone so they see it as well, tag them, share it, do all those fun things. See you next time. Bye.